Hey everyone, I'm Josh, I'm a Solutions Architect with Threatscape's award-winning Microsoft Security Practice. Today we'll be looking at some tips around Defender Suite, in particular we'll be looking at web content filtering. This is part of the web protection offered through Defender for Endpoint and allows organisations to monitor and control what websites users browse to based on categories. For example, peer-to-peer, -peer, social networking or gambling. All of this is reported into and also managed through the Microsoft 365 Defender console. So let's check out a demo. In order to make use of web content filtering, we have to ensure the capability is enabled. We do this by going to the Microsoft 365 Defender portal. We go to Settings, Endpoints, and then Advanced Features. We then scroll three quarters of the way down until we find the setting and make sure that it's turned on. In addition to licensing, there are a couple of other prerequisites. Network protection must be enabled in block mode and Windows Defender Smart Screen must also be enabled. I have also enabled custom network indicators to allow and block specific URL and domains, but any blocked URLs in this demonstration will be through the web content filtering feature. After enabling those settings, we go to web content filtering under the rules section. And as you can see, we already have two policies. Both of these policies apply to all devices. One is in audit mode only or report only mode. As you can see, there's no categories blocked. So this will of course give us reports which are available in this section down here under web protection. And of course, the second policy is based on what I found in that report. And I've blocked a couple of categories here. So as you can see, I've blocked the full adult content category, as well as a subcategory within leisure of web-based email. I've also created an indicator to allow web-based email just for Outlook. So we'll have a little look at the URLs and domains. And as you can see, outlook.office.com is set to allow. So let's get into the demonstration. Now we are on a demo machine, we can go to a few URLs that will test the gambling and web-based email category. We will also demonstrate how the custom indicator that we set overrides the blocked category for allowed URLs or domains. So to start off, we'll go to a gambling category website. So we'll go to bet365.com. As you can see, the content is blocked, so we can't go to this website. Next one we'll go to is gmail.com, which will be web-based email. It's just taking a little bit of time and as you can see the content is also blocked but if we go to outlook.office.com as you can see it might take a little bit of time but at the top bar you can see it's perfectly allowed and it's not blocked there either so quite a useful feature and um, so why don't you go ahead and test it out thank you all for watching and be sure to check out the rest of our videos and subscribe if you found this useful